What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor says this about Teofimo Lopez Jr. He says, Teofimo's ego has exploded. I'd like to cut him down to size. Josh Taylor says that he's not ruling out a future showdown with Teofimo Lopez, but he believes the unbeaten boxer has more to achieve at lightweight before meeting him. The unified WBA and IBF junior welterweight champion Taylor is awaiting confirmation on a clash with the WBC and the WBO titleist Jose Ramirez for an undisputed crown. Lopez, who holds the WBC franchise, the WBA, the IBF, and the WBO titles at 135, has backed the Scottish boxer to defeat his compatriot and is hopeful of landing himself a fight in the UK against Taylor. However, Taylor believes Lopez has more to do at his current weight and is fully confident he would overcome him if he pairs, if the two were to pair off to ever meet. He said, it's another fight that can happen. I'm not ruling it out, Taylor said, but I think he still needs to defend his titles. Forget about me for the minute. There's a lot of good fights at lightweight there that, 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 could, be, that could prove that he's the best completely secure his legacy at lightweight. So yeah, again, that's another one that if he comes up, I believe I'll beat him as well. I do believe I can beat him as well. It's funny how his ego has exploded now, but I'd like to take him down and cut him down to size. Those are the words of Josh Taylor. Hmm. Well, there's no secret that, uh, Teofimo Lopez, you know, he's spreading his wings at lightweight. He's done something that that a lot of fighters were either afraid to do, their handlers wouldn't let them do, and they never did. Teofimo Lopez did it. So um, it's understandable to a certain degree, you know, but most fighters like that, especially future possible future opponents, would say that about Teofimo Lopez. And also, Lopez... And his, along with his father, they're not going to stay at lightweight forever. You know, and I agree with Josh Taylor on this note that he does have a lot to do. He either can rematch Lomachenko. That's no hate. That's just realistic. I mean, you didn't knock this guy out like you guys claimed you was going to do. The scorecards were shitty. Okay. Lomachenko made excuses. He did. But at the end of the, or his manager, whichever team, Chenko, <laughs> they made excuses but at the end of the day, it had some legitimacy for what you can do. Because if you're not fighting, you're mandatory. And you're not fighting those other three kings over there in, in the lightweight division. You need to rematch Lomachenko. So there's a lot to be done. Because you anybody could have a bad night. But if you do it twice, it's just as nice. Right? And I think that that would be a great fight for him to secure his victory. Instead of, hey, well, you know what? I'm not going to fight Lomachenko anymore, and I'm a done deal. I'm going to do this. Well, he has to keep raising the bar fighting these top guys because if not, people are going to look to see what he did in the rearview mirror. In the rearview mirror, someone right behind him is Lomachenko. You ask a lot of people who won that fight. I did a poll on it myself. Teofimo Lopez won on my poll, but there's other polls out there that said that Lomachenko did enough to uh, draw. So if anything like that, if you have any doubt and you know there's people that doubting that that ain't Lomosexuals or Lomachenko fans, you know, that would be a fight that you can consider. And I think the worst thing you could do is try to look at fights possible down, possibly down the road and, and there's a person in front of you that has his eyes only locked on you and you have your eyes locked on someone else. That's not a good sign, okay? But a guy like Josh Taylor, that would be a huge fight for Teofimo Lopez Especially, it's experimental for him because he doesn't know how his power will carry to 140. He's still a young guy. He's only 23, though. You know, hopefully it will. But Teofimo Lopez, you know, you can look at his body. He has that Arturo Gotti build. So, yeah, he's a big boned boy. So, he's going to be up there. It might carry, you know. But understand, you're fighting bigger guys, too. So that makes all the difference in the world. You're to the second to the last of the little people. The junior welterweight division, okay, is at 140 pounds. So that means when you go in there on fight night, you're fighting a welterweight. That's what that means because you're not going to weigh the same if you wore on the, the scales 
the day before. Okay, these are facts. You're going to blow up. Some people go to 160. Look at Arturo Gotti, for example, when he bought Joey Gamache. He was 20 pounds heavier. So these guys only get bigger, right? And the bigger these guys are, the harder they punch most of the time, you know. But Josh Taylor said uh, on that note, he feels that uh, Teofimo Lopez, his ego, his ego is, has exploded. I think um, his ego is fine the way it is as long as he keeps fighting the best opposition. So if he resorts back to fighting someone we never heard of and he goes a couple fights and he fights some bullshit fights, okay, well, then I will agree with Josh Taylor. Your ego has exploded because you're doing nothing to boost that ego, you know, to compensate with what you're doing with corresponding action versus what you're doing running your mouth, okay? Because that's the only way we're going to know that your ego's big is what you say out of your mouth. But if you back it up, it's just as nice, Okay, so it's warranted. Okay, so um, Josh Taylor, Teofimo Lopez, that is a good fight on down the line, but I would like to see Teofimo Lopez clean out the division. You know, it's easy to fight one person for all the belts versus fighting each and every champion or fighting each and every challenge that you know people want you to see, people want you to fight. But anyway, that's my take on that. You guys tell me what you think of Josh Taylor's assessment of Teofimo Lopez. Is his ego exploding? Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunching. Peace.